Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. All right, continuing our NAB 2013 coverage, uh, we've come over to the Matrox booth, and uh, last year we looked at the new MicroQuad viewer that they had, and this year they have a really cool new product that I think is going to solve a lot of challenges, uh, both for streaming out to the web as well as uh, doing some stuff in-house where maybe you need to get video to a place where you can't easily pull cable, which is my application, actually, as I'm looking at this device. But uh, I'm here with uh, Dan Maloney from Matrox, and he's going to kind of walk us through the, uh, the new Monarch HD uh, streaming appliance. So uh, let me walk us through this thing here. Sure, thanks. So Monarch Stream HD, self-contained, small, rugged appliance. Basically lets you take your HDMI inputs and you've got an IP, you know, H264 encoded stream out. Now, um, what it is is a streaming and recording appliance. So uh, this is where we really felt we, we really hit a home run with the product. There's um, a lot of applications where you're going to be uh, taking your, uh, your your feed, your full uh, quality HD, HD feed, bringing it to the device, but you're streaming, you're often um, need to really scale that down to be able to fit it on the upload pipe to your content delivery provider, um, content delivery network. So what we wanted to do with this, and uh, this can certainly stream up to tw 20 megabits per second, all the way down to a more traditional, say, 500 kilobits per second, at resolutions, you know, ranging from uh, really quite small all the way to full 1080p 30. But we have a completely separate uh, channel available for local recording of the device uh, on the device itself. And those are uh, recorded to either SD cards or USB 2 type uh, thumb drives or, uh, you know, external hard drives. We can even target another computer uh, for recording uh, of the content that's on a computer that's on the same network. So the idea is you may be streaming at two megabits per second live up to your uh, your audience to your through a flash server or a Wowza media server, but you're also recording a much higher, say 20 or 30 megabit per second file, and the recording allows for up to 30 megabits per second simultaneously and independently of the stream, local records. So that means once your um, live event is done, you can immediately upload that to your own website for, for a high quality download, VOD download, right after the event. You want to drop that file into an editor to do, do a, a highlight or a more uh, compact version of that live event. These MP4 files that we record will work, uh, can be compatible with any Mac or PC based editing software. So once again, you um, stream and to ensure you keep your, your content in as high a quality as possible for your VOD, this particular product solves that uh, in one compact package. From a control standpoint, any computer connected to uh, the same network as your Monarch device can uh, actually control it. Now, um, now, this particular iPad is using any browser, whether it be a, you know, an iOS device or Safari on a Mac or even uh, Internet Explorer on a PC, you go ahead and you log into the device to, uh, to set up your streaming streaming parameters, which will allow you to set your bit rates, your frame rates, your resolution, and your independent recording parameters. Once again, you target where you want to send your uh, recorded files. Once you've configured a device on the streaming and recording side, Literally, you, you go back to the control side. Now, this is an iPad. You can use an iPhone. These very use buttons, you can go ahead and independently stream and record or do both with, a, with one touch. We have an additional feature where if you do have more than one camera that you would like to, for, you know, uh, at a particular event, and you would like to record and control these multiple devices without logging on to each one independently, you can go ahead and use a master and slave topology where you would have uh, one monarch uh, act as the master and allow you to control up to four additional monarchs within, the, uh, within that network. And so with the one touch of the record or stream, all of them are activated or deactivated at the same time. So now that's on the what I'd call remote control, but once the device is configured, it's ready to go. Uh, you can just connect it up with your source and your network jack, and using the onboard uh, buttons, stream and record, 
you do not actually need to have a computer to begin your recording and streaming operations. If really what you want to do is stream and it's a, uh, is record locally to a, say, a USB drive and stream to the predestined uh, IP address by simply connecting the input and your network output, one touch, and you're off and running. So the markets for this are really quite diverse. Any, loc any uh, event, uh, whether it be political, uh, corporate, uh, academic, or house of worship, um, uh, you know, a, a live event that require, that has an audience that needs to be reached that can't be present, you can uh, certainly use this directly connected to a camera source or maybe on the output of a, a more traditional switching environment, a production switcher, where uh, they'll be producing for live and uh, they'll want to stream, just have one of the outputs use this device for both streaming and maybe archival or, again, edit um, a VOD application after the events happened. Very cool. So uh, availability and price, those are the questions we're always going to get. Right. We're uh, making this product at a really are at $9.95 US uh, dollars. We really think this is a, an enabling technology that will be able to be able to put in the hands of a lot of different, um, you know, burgeoning webcast, web broadcast market. So incredible price point, and we're looking to ship this in June of this year. Awesome. And if people want to learn more, they can visit your website. Absolutely. Matrox.com slash video. All right. Very cool. So the uh, Monarch HD, a very interesting appliance uh, for more of us are getting online, doing live streaming, or even doing internal uh, uh, broadcast inside the building. Um, very, very easy to use, easy to set up, easy to configure. And the video quality looks quite good, too. So uh, check that out at Matrox.com.